why this is asterisk. I ran across something very interesting um, when I just installed the latest version of the Blue Cat Audio Patchwork Synth VST. Um, I actually reviewed this um, VST not long ago, but I think I was asleep when I reviewed it the initial first time. Um, this time, it's, I don't believe this feature was available in the first one, but perhaps it was there and I really was asleep. But what I found is that you can open AU, VST3, and VST2 uh, inside of Reason with this, with this uh, VST software. So, um, hold on, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So uh, if you're not familiar already with uh, the VST platforms that are available to Reason, um, Reason uh, 9.5 up to the newest version, which is 10.1, which is the official version that's out, only support, supports VST2. Well, if you install this, um, this VST plugin, you have uh, access to not only the, that platform, uh, VST2, but you have access to AU and VST3. So I'll just give you, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I actually have uh, quite a few VST3s and AUs, but I've never actually been able to use them because um, I can only use VST2. So I'm just gonna go to load VST3 and it takes you to the folder where they are. And I'm just gonna open up this um, v, uh, v, VPS Venger. I'm gonna open that up. And it opens fine, it just takes a second. Um, hopefully um, some of this slow performance loading will be resolved in the, uh, the next version of, of uh, uh, Reason. But um, as you can see, it opens up the software uh, I'm just going to select the patch. Um, let me load up something in there. It works. It plays. I'm going to close that. I'm going to create like just something simple. So as you can see, um, it works. <laughs> so um, this is an alternative way for us to be able to to use um, like VSP, uh, VST3 and AU plugins. So um, I thought it was really cool. And plus, you know, with this plugin, you can uh, layer things as well. So with that, I'm gonna uh, add an AU plugin. Um, let me see, let's see what we've got. Um, let me add the Dune in there. So this is an AU, which is the Apple format. Um, and let me see for, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let me just add like a pad or something in there. Um, later now I know what I did wrong so I needed to actually turn it on okay now it should work there you go definitely will sleep at the wheel on this one guys um, this really is a this is a showstopper uh, um, this is an altering life altering event for me because now I can um, actually acquire uh, VSTs that actually are like that only support like VST3 and the ones I can think of right off the top of my head are like the Roland um, VSTs that they have available for like the SH-101. Uh, I've been eyeballing that one for a while but it was on, it's only available in VST3 um, and that's the one I can think of right off the top of my head so now I'm gonna have to go back and revisit 
um, some of those plugins that are only available in VST3. But since I saw this, I wanted to share that information with you and get this posted so that you will be able to know that this um, Blue Cat Audio Patchwork um, utility is actually very useful for Reason users. Um, and the price that I paid for this thing was like only 99 bucks. Um, here, I'll just take it there to the site. I want to say that it was 99 bucks. Yeah, it is. Um, and I believe I did purchase mine through uh, Sweetwater, but you can also purchase it direct from Blue Cat as well. Um, and again, it's still not just 99 bucks. Um, but yeah, this is one really cool utility um, for Reason users. So um, I just, again, I wanted to share that with you. Um, have a good one.